What's going on YouTube? My favorite mag box of all time, the X5, has just been updated and these are two special edition boxes from Buzz TV. If you're interested in picking up any of the Buzz TV players, check out my link down below and use code JabberTech to save 10% off your order. I like to save you guys a little bit of coin when I can. But number one that I like about these two special edition boxes is we now have Wi-Fi 6. We also have a couple special special tweaks here and there that I'm going to let you know about in just a little bit. Taking a look at both of these boxes, number one, Buzz TV is not a software company. You must provide your own service to use these boxes. They do not come with service pre-installed. They do not come with anything like that. You're going to have to input your own credentials. But thanks to being an Android TV box, you can download all of your favorite streaming applications. And this time around, they will work in HD. So your Prime Video, your Netflix, your Disney Plus, just about every app out there is going to work on these players. Some will play in 4K, some will play in 1080. It's just the nature of the beast when it comes to this player, but at least everything is in HD. Thankfully, Cody runs like a charm on these boxes. So getting your 4K content from anywhere on the web is easy as downloading Kodi and doing the steps that you guys probably already know how to do. Now both of these boxes are running the AM Logic S905 X4 quad core 64 bit processor, Mali G31 for the GPU. So it is gonna be able to handle most of your games out there. Both of the boxes have four gigabytes of RAM, which is plenty from just about everything that you guys want to do. But when it comes to storage, this is where these two devices differ. Now the special edition X5 has 128 gigabytes of storage built in, but you also do have a USB 3 port on the side here. So you can connect a hard drive or you can connect a pen drive and it's as easy as one, two, three to expand that storage. This can also be used for your PVR. So you can download all of your recordings directly to a pen drive if you guys want to can also be used for your time shift. So if you want to have a little bit more buffer, you can also use that pen drive or you can use a micro SD card if you guys want to do that. But again, this is the X5 special edition and you do have two antennas now. And the great thing about this special edition X5 is we now have Wi-Fi 6. That's what the AX stands for. So we do get Wi-Fi 6, which gives you better speed, better range, and overall just a better connectivity. Looking on the back here, here's your gigabit ethernet port. Here's your HDMI 2.1 port. You also do get an optical out and there's that AV output as well. So I definitely like this special edition. It's gonna be enough for just about most people. 128 gigabytes of storage is enough for my needs, especially when I just connect my pen drive to the side here. Being able to use my PVR any which way that I want is super simple. Now, when it comes to the U5, this is where things get a little bit different. And I love this honeycomb design on the top. It's reminiscent of the old 4900 series. And on the back as well, reminiscent of the 4900. You can put in your own hard drive and you can literally expand the storage to terabytes and terabytes and terabytes. I happen to have a 640 gigabyte drive connected to it. So again, this is perfect for you guys that have a lot of recording schedule, perfect for you guys that like to record everything that you watch. And if we look at the side as well, we do get a USB-C port for data. Here's your AV port, there's your gigabit port, 2.1 HDMI port, optical once again. But I like seeing the USB-C port again. It means you can connect a whole bunch of different peripherals to this thing and definitely expand the connectivity. And the other side as well, we get two USB 3 ports. There's that micro SD and there's another USB port right over there. In terms of wireless connectivity, this also has Wi-Fi 6. Now I personally like a more streamlined device. I like a device that doesn't have any antennas. So I would definitely prefer the U5 over the X5 Special Edition, but it all comes down to preference. Now it depends where you're placing this box. Again, external antennas, some say will give you better range. Now when it comes to Wi-Fi 6, I get ex excellent range everywhere I place these boxes. So I have not noticed any difference between an external and an internal antenna. Now again, your results might vary depending on how far your router is from your TV player. You can always just connect an ethernet cable and you'll be good to go. Another thing that's special with these two players versus the old X5 that I was using, is now with PVR Plus, it can actually turn on the box and record your shows, so you no longer have to leave this on 24 seven when you have some recording scheduled. It's actually gonna turn on the box, do your recording, and then that's basically it. So that's something that I really like seeing. And again, with Time Shift, you can pause TV, do your thing, come back, press play, and everything is as it is. If we take a look at the Universal Remote Control, it's brand new, it's updated for all of their most recent players. And it is a smart remote control as well. So pressing the power button can turn on your TV or turn off your TV as well as the Buzz TV boxes. Here's your source. Your play buttons are on the top. The Buzz TV logo will access live TV whenever you wanna, whenever you wanna watch something. You have your menu, you have your guide. Here's your back button. You do, have a, you do have a mouse feature as well. Now it's not an air mouse, so you can't wiggle your remote control around and, and kind of have it go where you need it to go. 
You do have to use this directional pad to, to move the arrow cursor wherever you need it to go. Here's your home button. There's your volume, your channels, your back, your information about what you're watching. You do have programmable color-coded buttons which will act differently depending on which app you're in, as well as your number keypad right on the bottom. And I do like the remote control once again. The backlight feature is really nice. Everything about this remote control is very ergonomical and, and works well for my situation. But let's go ahead, turn it on, check out the interface together, see what it's all about. This is the home screen of the Buzz TV X5 and it's using Buzz TV's latest interface, Buzz TV 5, with some minor tweaks and whatnot. And I like what they've done here because everything is very easily navigatable. All of your most frequently used toggles are here so you can quickly get to Wi-Fi, you can quickly get to Bluetooth, you can quickly access your gigabit ethernet port if that's how you connect. And I also wanna just show you a couple things here. Now going under settings, this is where you're gonna see all of your device preferences. If you ever had an Android box, this is something that you're familiar with. So you can go in and you can check all of your sound profiles and you can go in and you can define what the power key does and all of that good stuff. Just play around with it if you wanna set up this box how you want it to set up. Now under server settings, this is where you're gonna enter in your information. Buzz TV just sells hardware. They do not sell a subscription. That you have to provide on your own. But what I like about Buzz TV is they give us automatic updates and that's something that we always like. And with my experience with Buzz TV, they do push out some updates. So if you buy this box, you are gonna have some support. And you also do have different home screens. They have Buzz TV Classic, they have a media player, they have media player too. So they give you different types of home screens. This is Android, so you can put whatever launcher you want on this box. Now I personally just like the modern. I think it looks a, looks a lot better and that's the one that I use the most often. But once again, this is Android, so you can set it up how you want to set it up. And Buzz TV out of the gate gives you a couple launchers, so I definitely appreciate that from Buzz TV. I usually like Buzz TV Modern because I think it gives me everything that I need in one place. Something else that's new this year with the brand new remote control, we do get some remote control options. So no longer do you have to fiddle with some buttons on the remote control to turn on or off the backlight. All you have to do is, is go into the settings here. Go under that backlight setting and choose on or off and that's going to enable it on the remote control again very very simple very easy and that's what i like about this refresh from buzz tv and you can also see that if there are updates for the remote control they will be pushed from this interface as well but going back to the interface under live tv this is where you can set up all of your most frequently watched channels so if you want to tune to a channel very, very quickly, I all you have to do is click example, on the channel, it's going to tune right time. away, and you can as see a list of all of your favorites right there. And again, this is using Buzz TV 5 interface, so everything is laid out very, very nicely. Everything is well laid out, so in my opinion. What I like about this new interface as well is we do have time shift available, so you can pause live TV if you want to, and you can pick up right where you left off. Perfect for game day, perfect for when you just want to go and get that drink or that snack. All you have to do once again is press the pause button on the remote control and it's going to pause your channel. When you come back, just press play and it's yeah, going to play Tyler. like yeah, nothing has happened. And I, I really like time shift. I think that's one of the best features on any of these boxes. But going back to the settings, I just want to show you a couple more settings here. here. Um, so and that is under configuration. This is where you can um, set up the, some, the some buffer time. And I usually leave it on 10 seconds. This is going to vary depending on your internet connection and whatnot. But I like a little bit more buffer just in case the channel does tune out or whatnot. And then you also have a couple different options for themes. So you can go ahead and you can change the theme and change the colors and it's going to change it up for you again very customizable so i definitely like this buzz tv 5 interface just gives us more customization than what we've had before some of the other settings i just want to show you you can have one button recording you can also have the buzz tv interface load up live tv the minute you turn on this box again perfect if you just use it for watching tv if you don't use it for any other apps and you want to make it as simple as possible for anybody coming over to your house or maybe even an airbnb to just turn on this player and to have access to your live tv channels of course any of these players wouldn't be complete without having your own personal video recorder your own pvr at that and with buzz tv you can record a one-time show or you can have it record on multiple days at the same time so this is perfect for watching any of those any of those current series that you're watching you can have it stored to your internal storage or any of the usb drives or the micro sd card that you have installed so again i like this pvr feature i think that's definitely something that everybody looks for on one of these boxes and you also have a couple options with pvr as well and this is where you're going to set up that time shift as well so you can have your your recording set once again to any of your external drives if you want We'll right if you'd here. like to add any extra recording time, you can do so as well. Here's that time shift. You can force USB time shift. And again, I have my cache on my USB drive. I just think it makes it a little bit easier. And you can set the cache as well. So I like to set it to the most 
the maximum amount possible. That's going to give me the most buffer time. So if I do have an extended time away from the TV, I can still come back and press play and pick up like I never left. So that's your PVR and time shift options as well. You can also download your video on demand and you'll see them there. You can also download your catch up if your provider supports catch up. Again, everything's very customizable and that's what I like about this new box. You even have parental controls if you wanna, if you wanna control some of those channels. If you don't want your kids watching X-rated or R-rated TV shows, you can go ahead and set that up right there. And that's really it when it comes to the live TV options. I think the Buzz TV interface is really nice and it loads the channels very, very quickly. Everything is high quality as you'd imagine. 4K plays really nice if your service supports 4K as well. Now going under video on demand, they did a couple refresh when it comes to your video on demand. And again, I think they did a nice job. Everything is well laid out. Everything looks really, really crisp and clean. Everything is done nicely with the Buzz TV X5 player and with that super fast AM Logic 905X4 processor. Everything is super smooth, buttery smooth at that. And that's the same when it comes to your TV favorites. Everything is well laid out. Everything it loads very, very quickly, very, very smooth. And you can see if we just scroll down, it's gonna catch up really, really quickly. So again, I definitely like this player. Buzz TV did a really nice job when it comes to their player. But one of the things that I'm really excited about is the fact that we now get 4K channels on, on some of the more popular streaming applications. Now, just as a disclaimer, I have not been able to get 4K to work. The company does say 4K does work, but I am happy to say 1080p definitely works on this box. And that's something super new. That's something really, really that I give them credit for, however they were able to do it. Because a lot of these boxes, as you guys probably know, do not play 4K really well. They don't even play 1080, they don't even play 720. A lot of these boxes will only play about 4, 480 or so. So I am happy to see that Buzz TV did a nice job when it comes to getting support for their player. Disney Plus works, Paramount Plus works, Plex works, Prime works. YouTube does play in 4K, so I am happy about that. Everything about the new X5 player is really, really great. I definitely like this player. I'm not really gonna have to worry about scratching up that lens. And let me tell you, speaking of apps, there are two app stores available. One is Aptoid TV, where you'll have to download some of these applications like Netflix, which you can't find on the Google Play Store for this specific box. But you can go ahead and download it, and you can download it directly from Aptoid TV. And it is basically just another app store. But if you wanna use the Google Play Store, that's here as well. So we do have the Google Play Store. So you can see here, it's very well laid out. Everything is, is nicely organized with the Google Play Store. So just to scroll through, you can see you have all of these apps. Now granted, with any of these boxes, some will work, some will not work. But the main point of buying one of these Buzz TV boxes is that you already have your own service and that's what you wanna use. But now thanks to the compatibility list, you can go ahead and play from these major players and that's something huge. Now let's go to some of the jellyfish samples, starting with 140 megabit a second. Plays perfectly fine, no problems with these jellyfish. Moving on up, let's do the 160 megabit a second. And that also passes, no problems with 160 megabit. Now where some boxes struggle is at 250. So 160 is where you're gonna have to stay at, but again, that's still a very high bit rate. But that's just one of the samples I did want to show you. Next, let's take a look at a 4K HDR sample. No problems playing this. Very, very nice, high quality. The image is super clean, super crisp. Everything looks great as you'd imagine. And if we go to another sample here, again, this is a HDR UHD 4K sample. plays really nicely so if you have any files that you want to put on a USB drive and play it on the X5 they're gonna play very nicely as well 